Can we talk to you guys? At a Trump rally in Cincinnati, Ohio in mid-October, we interviewed a gay couple supporting Donald Trump, Cody Moore and Dewey Lanehart. I uploaded the short interview with the two men to my Facebook account. Are you a couple? Yeah. Yes. Do you feel comfortable here being affectionate at this rally? Yeah. Ain't nobody saying nothing about it. Nope, no one stopped us, done anything, so it's pretty good. Soon, it was up to around 200,000 views. It got more than 900 comments. Why do you want Trump to be president? I don't know, baby. I'm tired of the bullshit government. Now, I work in the steel industry. I see it hardcore with trades and stuff. It's time for a change. Trump's the man for it. Now, plus, I really feel like he would bring more jobs to the country, and he would, like, the system and everything would just be a hell of a lot better with Trump. Nothing more Leonard said in the interview was particularly unusual or exceptional. The video was shared mostly by people who seemed to share the couple's sexual orientation, but clearly not their presidential preference. Moore and Leinhardt were ridiculed by commenters as uneducated, rednecks, traitors to the gay community, and even compared to Jews who supported Hitler. Another commenter writes, two bricks directly into their faces. Why all the anger? Based on the comments, some people apparently don't think gays should support a campaign that has seemed to incite bigotry against some groups, and a candidate whose rallies have featured hateful words and at times violence among the attendees. And the gay community has long allied itself with the Democratic Party. And this year, gays are among Hillary Clinton's most ardent supporters. According to a recent poll, around three quarters of registered gay voters plan to vote for her. Over the phone, Leithart and Moore tell me they don't regret doing the interview, but has put a damper, they say, on their excitement over the recent news of their engagement. The couple also says they've been getting death threats, told not to come out of the house and not go to any gay clubs. It doesn't concern me, says Lanehart. I look over my back and I do carry because I love the Second Amendment.